Well, rattlesnakes, black widow spiders, dart frogs, all of them poisonous. They can kill humans, other animals. But if these animals are carrying around deadly toxins, why don't they die too? We have an answer. And Debo, the science coach, <laughs> is here to give it to us. I, I, it's a great question. I have often thought of this myself. So a couple of days this article comes out, Russell. Uh, we're going to focus on these poisonous dart frogs, by the way. Oh, just a little side note. These poisonous dart frogs, by the way, in Central and South America, did you know that they aren't born poisonous? Hmm? That they actually acquire the poisonous chemical by eating insects? Really? But that's got nothing to do with our story. <laughs> These poison dart frogs, by the way, look how tiny they are. They are powerful enough to kill 10 humans, believe it or not. That's really? how much poison they have inside of them. And this is what happens. Your brain is always sending signals around your body, right? Move the arm, do this, do that, that kind of stuff. And to do that, the body uses electricity, in particular, positively charged ions like sodium gets you know, transports that electricity around your body to actually tell your body what to do. But the, the disruption with this toxin doesn't allow these sodium ions to come in and out of the cells the right way, which obviously that's how you get poison. So it has to do with the transference of different ions around your body. So if you move forward and to say, okay, well, how does this not happen to these individual frogs or snakes, or for that matter, there are three ways that these animals adapt. Number one, they take that target protein, the sodium ion, and they reshape it inside their own body so it doesn't allow it to bind to other ions in their body. I know this is sounding a little bit technical, Russell, uh, but they, what, that's one of the reasons or one of the things that these frogs will do so that they don't get poisoned themselves. The other one is they actually get rid of the toxin immediately out of their body so that they don't ingest it and die themselves. And the third one, which is really the most important one, sequestration. I think I said that right. So the animal will develop a system to kind of soak up that toxin and hold on to it meaning the toxin never has a chance to reach the protein channels in these frogs in the third, you know, in the first place. So, yeah, go ahead. No, I mean, because I, I, th I thought the obvious answer was going to be they develop an immunity to it. No. But it's not. It's not. And in fact, it's not even one of the top three things that keeps them from being poisoned. But the sequestration is something that they're really focusing on. And here's why. You know, I, I think this is more of what I'm taking from this article. American bullfrogs produce a protein, and I can't pronounce it. It begins with an S, which can bind to and block this toxin okay? okay so what scientists are doing is they're trying to take that protein okay and use it to fight algal blooms so Ooh. moving forward we know okay we know why they don't get poisoned but now we're taking some of that chemical that american bullfrogs produce to keep themselves from getting poisoned and trying to detoxify these algal blooms so Basically, what I'm getting out of this whole article is that scientists are trying to find a way to take care of the red tide by using a protein from American bullfrogs. I don't know how you get from point A to point B, but if that works and they can replicate yeah. that protein from these bullfrogs, and again, they found this protein by saying, why don't these guys get poisoned themselves? So you see how it one leads to the other right. and they're going to take that protein and perhaps we can at some point in the future a year two five ten i don't know maybe that can help with getting rid of the red tide fascinating Both and the other moral of the story is don't touch poisonous dark frogs well there it is they're so pretty though but I won't. aren't they beautiful I won't. though <laughs> but that's another but that's why they have that color that's why they're so beautiful that's a warning to other animals stay away from me all right thanks man we learned a lot about, little about a lot, didn't we? We sure did. That's why, you, <laughs> that's why you're the Debo the Science Pro.